Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got an exciting new kit to preview for you guys today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new, soon to be released, Border Models 35th scale Messerschmitt BF109G6. And yes, I did say 35th scale because this is Border Models who's pretty uh, famous for doing a lot of 35th scale tanks has decided to come along with an airplane to go along with all of those tanks. That way if you want to do a diorama, you know how many different figures and trucks and jeeps and kubel wagons and all kinds of stuff that are available in 35th scale that are not always available in 32nd scale. So this is going to be a great opportunity for someone who wants to do a little scene to have that and have all the accessories to go along with it too. So very excited to get a hold of one of these. Now, like I said, this is soon to be released. Uh, we should hopefully have them in early August. That is all depending on how shipping's going. Shipping worldwide is crazy right now and ma monsterly delayed on everything. So we're hoping though by early to mid-August we should have these in stock. They are available for pre-order on our website, andyshq.com. I'm thinking these are going to sell out pretty well. We've already got a lot of people asking about them, but I just did get this uh, sample copy from our friends over at Border Model, and I wanted to share it with you guys today. So if you're interested in one, I would definitely go on the website and get one on pre-order right away. Don't know how many we're actually going to be able to get in on the first wave, because this is a limited edition first batch. And what I mean by that is there is a special box inside that's all sealed up and inside there is a bonus resin figure of which I think there are nine different figures to choose from or not you don't get to choose it's a uh, it's a lottery type thing the box is in there and you get what you get and there's also a bonus metal part inside there and the metal part could either be a metal prop for your airplane metal uh, photo etched seat belts or metal rockets for the underwing rocket tubes on there so but we'll talk a little bit more about that and I'll open up on camera my bonus pack that came inside this kit to show you what I got inside there so now and one other quick thing I many of you are gonna say why are you over in this part of your uh, your build area doing this I have a lot of new kits in so I couldn't get to my normal area where I do my my opening bid uh, for the video so I just thought it's easier to do over here working on a diorama right now which by the time you see this video this will be out uh, check it out it's pretty cool on doing a 700 scale water diorama that's the one that's just before this one right here so let's get started So here it is. Here is our border models 135th. And let me say that again. This is a 135th, not a 32nd scale, Messerschmitt BF 109 G6. And they've made it in 35th scale, kind of an experiment to see uh, for any of the armor builders out there that want to do dioramas. I mean, there is a ton of 35th scale stuff, you know, in trucks and tanks and all that kind of stuff. So I think it makes sense to do some airplanes in 35th scale. Now, this one that is coming out is a limited edition one. And I'm going to show you the side of the box by what I mean by that. So inside, they're going to give you a bonus figure inside there as well as a bonus metal piece and a metal piece could either be a bonus metal propeller a pair of rockets or photo wedge seat belts and then you get the mystery pilot that goes along inside there too so it's kind of cool and I will open it up I won't open it before I actually start the actual video and well, I'll show you just real fast because I did open this and here is the pack that has your bonus stuff inside of it there so we'll open that up and we'll figure it out all at the same time what's in the uh, the mystery gold package let's take a look at the uh, the sprues in order and um, I have to admit I kind of take a quick little peek of them because I have to actually cut them out of the bags before I show them to you and going right into it I am very very impressed and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about we're going to start off in order this is the A sprue and we're just going to zoom in on each one to show you the up close detail of this entire kit And the detailing, now this is kind of hard. There's not much on this particular one, but I did want to do them in order for you. But now let's go into the next one, the actual fuselage. And here it is. Let's start on the bottom down here. 
and you can see all of the, the rivet detail. And I think once we put paint on there, you know, it covers it up. I think that is the perfect amount of depth on those uh, on that rivet detail. Very, very nice. Now, immediately you're going to see this cutaway, and that is because it's got complete engine detail as well. And even down to the, uh, the rivets on the spinner, we've got our center line fuel tank, and then, of course, the other side of the fuselage here, too. Very, very nice. And even here, here's our first slide molding. So they did slide molding on the bottom here to have these little bit of detail on the bottom of the fuselage on both sides. Next up, we have the, uh, the wings. And we're just going to get right in there and let you see close up, right on down the line, all the detail in here. And in person, I mean, I'm just stunned. It, it looks absolutely beautiful in person here. And now, I haven't built an airplane kit from Border, obviously, because this is their first kit. But I have built quite a few of their tanks, and I've always been very, very impressed with their fit. So I can't imagine this would be any different. Now we're going to look at some of the accessories here, and start off with right here some of the wiring for the engine. A little bit of a cockpit detail. Actually, I'm going to zoom in on that quite a bit. Look how deep the, uh, the bezels are. This part right here for the air intake is slide molded. So you've got that all as one piece. How many times have you guys had to glue uh, two sides of that together and then get rid of the seam? Here we have our engine block the very top of the block and then all of the other little accessory details on there very nice now we're coming up to some more of the detail stuff and you're going to start to see as we get into the the detail areas more and more slide molding so here we have uh, your rear wheel part of the uh, the prop itself because the individual paddles are separate on here and then as we go into the slide molding part we've got our our guns here they are slide molded and part of the landing gear is slide molded as well but yeah those are those are nicely done next up we have the uh, you're gonna get two of this particular sprue and this sprue has the uh, the paddles on it for the for the prop and more slide molding. Look at all the slide molding that is done on here. Those are those rockets too that possibility we might have the metal ones inside here depending on which one we ended up with and then take a look at those. Those are the exhausts individually molded and slide molded so they're all hollowed out on that. And like I was telling you, you get two of those. So you're going to end up with a couple extra parts there. You know, at least one extra paddle for the uh, propeller. And then the final bit is the opening part of the, uh, the, uh, the engine area the, of the fuselage. Those are molded separately here. And slide molded as you can see here as well. Now you're probably looking at this and going, hey, that, uh, that canopy is not very see-through. And it's not very see-through because they molded the sprue in clear also. I have to admit, I took a quick peek at that and go, what the heck is with the, uh, the canopy? But uh, I guess that's one you could just paint over black if you didn't want to have any detail inside there. But the main reason is, is because it's also on here too. So you've got our, our nice clear canopy with the detail, all the different pieces, and then they also give you all of the the, uh, the front of the airplane too, that if you want to build up the engine and maybe put one half clear plastic or the whole thing in clear plastic, you have that opportunity right there. So you have just taken a look at all of the sprues in this kit. Okay, first up we have our decals, and they've, uh, they've got the wax paper stapled to the very top here 
Uh, a little minor thing like that, but I like that they do that because I don't know about you guys, but when you get your decals, this paper is never on top of the decals, it seems like. It's always come off, and there's nothing up on top here, so you're not damaging the decals themselves, but it's a great way of protecting them. But this is what is going to come in your kit, um, a variety of different decals. It does have the swastikas broken up that if you want to put those on, you can. And then some of the unit markings as well there. And a big, big white nine if you want to do that one. And then the photo etch that comes, everyone gets this piece of photo etch inside the kit. Now there is the option of getting that, uh, that bonus interior piece on there. We'll see which one we got, but this is included inside the kit. And you know, the thing I always like to show you guys too is the instructions to give you an idea how this kit goes together. And what I'll do is I'll just take a couple of seconds and show you each one of the pages. And beautiful looking. It doesn't look like there's too, too many parts in this kit that we wouldn't be able to put it together in a reasonable amount of time. I guess these are always good too, that if you ever do lose your instructions down the road, you can always refer back to this video to, uh, to see the, the different parts on it. Some of the wings, landing gear, more parts of the wings. And I've had so many people over the years tell me that by showing the instructions, it, it's actually made some people want to go and buy the kit when they see how it actually goes together. So I guess that's a good thing. And I think we're coming up on the last part, which is our different markings that we have on this. So it looks like there's two different variants. Maybe I'll flip this around too. Oh, oh no, what am I saying? There is a whole bunch of variants. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different air. No, even more than that. There's a lot of different airplanes available on this one. Which is, oh, I guess so. Like the tulip that's on the, uh, the cover here, or on this particular airplane. They don't actually have the decals inside there, but they have the ability, I guess, if you wanted to go and paint that yourself, you could go ahead and, and do that. So that's what all the different markings are inside of that. So now let's open up our bonus pack. Okay, here we go. So there is going to be a bonus resin figure inside here. And according to this down here that I read the, uh, the lettering on here, that the metal parts come with each one of the specific uh, pilots inside there. So showing here Eric Hartman or Herman Graf or a uh, high altitude pilot. So, uh, and then there's six different mystery ones on there as well, too. So, we'll do this all at the same time, and I'll be as surprised as you guys are. Here we go. Okay, I got a limited edition, and who is this? Let's see what this is here. Okay, I ended up with the, the metal props, paddles for the, for the plane, that piece, and we'll crack our resin figure open. Okay, we got him out of the package now. We'll take a look at the resin figure that comes in here, and very nice. So I think I just, I ended up with the generic pilot. And then the two resin arms that come with it too. So nice deep cuts in all of the uh, the fabric on him. So there you go. And then finally, we'll rip our metal blades open. And there they are. So we can use those instead of the plastic ones right there. So there you go. That is the uh, the new. Slide this out of the way. So there you go, there is the new Border Models ME109 G6 in 35th scale. Uh, I think it's an absolute beautiful kit. 
It, it, this is a very early production copy. Uh, they are on order with our website, andyshhq.com, where they'll be available for pre-order starting as soon as this video hits the web. And man, they look, they look great to me. They're due in in early August, and that is assuming that all shipping is not delayed any longer. I've already added on a little bit extra time to that because the days of four to five weeks to getting something shipped across the ocean are gone. It's now closer to eight to ten weeks. So hopefully we should have these sometime in early to mid-August with all of that. There is always the possibility it could show up earlier, but we're quoting the longer just in case. So if you want to pre-order one of these, get on the website, andyshhq.com. Get on the list. We have quite a few coming in, but I think this one's going to sell out pretty quickly because of the, uh, the quality of it and just, just how nice they put it together. So, so I want to thank you guys as always for watching, and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.